Looks like the dispute between Central Falls' receiver and the city's retirees may be over. We've learned the federal bankruptcy court has approved an amendment between the city and the unions, which will mean reduced pensions. But those reduced pensions could come at a cost to every Rhode Island taxpayer. Highway to Suze reporter Catherine Sotnik is live with the mobile newsroom with the developing details. Well, state taxpayers could potentially be on the line for $2.6 million, but the governor in a news release tonight says that the agreement uh, will save taxpayers in Rhode Island, will save them more money in the long term. Over the, last 20 years. the agreement is between the Central Falls receiver, Judge Robert Flanders, and city retirees. It was approved by a bankruptcy judge and is designed to pull Rhode Island's smallest city out of the hole. It will allow us to take the city, which was totally dysfunctional, and make it functional. Theodore Orson is the attorney for receiver, Judge Robert Flanders. This is nothing we're cheering about. We understand the pain that it's... Um, uh, that's resulting from it. Under the agreement, Central Falls retirees would agree to cuts in their pensions of up to 55 percent. To ease their pain, state taxpayers would give the retirees a bonus payment totaling $2.6 million over the first five years. But there is a catch. The General Assembly has to sign off on that bonus payment first. Matthew McGowan, attorney for the retirees, tells us, quote, no one is jumping for joy about the settlement, but it reflects the reality of the retirees dealing with a city that almost literally ran out of money as of the bankruptcy filing date and had its pension plans habitually underfunded for a decade or longer. Now it's up to the General Assembly to approve the $2.6 million in state taxpayer money to go to the retirees. But Governor Lincoln Chafee says the agreement will save state taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars of litigation fees in the future. The state will have, a, have the city which had the worst finances and be able to turn it into a functional city. And this does not mean that Central Falls is out of bankruptcy just yet. They still have to resolve several disputes on the school side, especially with the teachers. Reporting live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.